guys, me again. Um, so it is, I don't even know what day I'm on, uh, Thursday today and I bought this bed yesterday. I just left it here. There is no heating in my kitchen. I don't have a radiator or anything like that. So it's um, really, it's quite cool in here. So they've been fine. But I need to sort the potatoes out and uh, the parsnips and like the carrots. Well, all of it really. I need to sort it all out today. Um, so I was going to put some stuff in those banana boxes, but they're absolutely massive. And um, I don't know if they'd fit in the cupboard. Um, but I'll see. I'll see what I've got. But I, um, I've been sorting make sure my address isn't on that um i've been sorting some stuff out today and um i've got this box so i'm gonna put the potatoes in here i've also got some of this like big thick brown paper as well now just to the left of me here i have a big cupboard that uh, my water tank was in when i first came in the flat um, it had a water tank um, and then that broke and I got a new boiler but they've taken the water tank out so in there is really really good storage and I usually put my potatoes in there anyway just the bags and I chuck them in and it's a junk cupboard I'm not going to show you because it's horrendous in there um, it's um, my cupboard full of carrier bags and stuff like that so I just put the potatoes in there and then under the carrier bags and that seems to keep them going for ages. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the potatoes in here and stick them in there. And hopefully they'll be okay. I'll keep an eye on them um, and see how they get going. So I'm literally just going to... Put the bag open and I'm going to put the little potatoes and the big potatoes in here. So that's six kilos of the red potatoes. also got um, a little box as well if I need it. I might layer this now. Right, I'm only going to put um, two bags, so four kilos of the white potatoes in here because it's really heavy. And then I'm just going to put some... Because the job is to um, keep the light out because as soon as light gets to them, it turns them green and they start to sprout. So six, seven, eight, there's ten kilos of potatoes in here. I've got a funny feeling now the pipe is in the way so it won't fit. So that box has gone in that cupboard really nicely now and um, fingers crossed that um, they last a while now. Um, so I've got this little box and I'm going to put like uh, carrots in here now. Whopper monster carrots. Yeah, so I'm gonna to have to get my turkey crown out of the freezer. Right, carrots in there. Have I got any more brown paper? Right, so I've got this bag from Primani, and um, I'm gonna rip that up and just put some on the top here. And 
And now I'm going to put some parsnips on top. Now I'm sure you can um, store carrots in like uh, wood chip and um, sand. Okay, right, and there's my box of carrots and parsnips. These are going in the cupboard as well. Perfect, they've gone in. So that's most of my potatoes sorted and um, carrots and parsnips. These parsnips from Lidl's are not looking too good, so I'm going to sort them out now, uh, freeze some of them, get them ready for my Christmas dinner. I'm going to shred these sprouts now in my food process processor and make some um, sprout salad and cabbage and get some ready for um, frying again with the bacon and the onions and the garlic. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I've got two bags of potatoes here that I need to sort out um, and the cabbage and the cauliflower and chop the sweet. I'm dreading that. I hate chopping sweet. But never mind, it saves me money so I'm going to do it. If you've got any tips on how you store your vegetables, you know, without putting them in the freezer or the fridge like I've done in these boxes, uh, please let me know. I have got a garage but um, it leaks and so I can't put them in my garage, it's not, it's not doable. Downstairs in my porch is absolutely freezing but it's like um, a glass porch so it gets light all day. It's really light in my porch all day so I'm thinking if I put like um, the fruit, uh, the veg and potatoes in there it'd be too light, they need somewhere dark um, so I'm hoping this just for a couple of days and then I can chop it all up and whack it in the freezer it's just I've got no room in my freezers at the moment because I've got all the Christmas stuff there so yeah I'll be taking the turkey out soon don't forget to take the turkey out and get it defrosting yeah so uh, take care uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye